Hey everyone, welcome to the Design Journal. Whether you are new or returning, glad to have you here. I'm here to guide you through creating architectural and interior sketches both digital and manual. So today I'll demonstrate an easy realistic lawn chair sketch on Procreate. Grab free online brushes. I'll leave the links of the brushes in the description down below. Follow along or simply relax and enjoy the soothing process. No more delay. So without further ado, let's begin. So here I have the sketch already drawn of a simple lawn chair and right now we can start selecting uh, the lawn chair using the select toolbar. Uh, you have to use the freehand select toolbar and then slowly start outlining around the shape. So after selecting it, let's create a layer and let's start to add the color. You just have to like easily drag and drop and it's as simple as that if you select an object, it takes seconds to fill in the color. The next step is to select a darker version of the same color and we are going to use the flat brush, increase the size a little bit and always remember to alpha lock the layer uh, that you're working in so that it you know it avoids the overspill of the colors and gives you a clean finish and it's, it, it's also very flexible for you to work with so right now i'm defining the edges of the of this object because you are creating a light and shadow effect the more we play with the lighter tones and darker tones of the same color, the more realistic it becomes. So let's imagine the light coming from this side and hence we are making the left side more darker and the right side is going to be lighter. So wherever you feel it's required, however you want to, just sway your hands guys. Just don't feel shy and just start playing with the colors. Make sure you define the shape more and more and keep selecting darker version of the same color and keep playing around. You will enjoy this process guys.
Guys, if you feel that I'm going too fast, please feel free to pause at any point in this video. It's okay, you can take it slow, learn it slow and the slower the better, I think. But if you feel that I'm going too slow, then you can also fast forward it and yeah, continue it accordingly. So the next fun part is to use the soft brush tool and choose the black color and start outlining it slightly wherever you find the object has folds. So whenever the light falls in such places it usually is dark right. So we need to show it accordingly. Select the flat brush and the white color and start shading the right side of the object. The left is already done, now let's start with the right side.
You can now see how the object is getting defined slowly. Now the next step is to outline the object using a light color. So let's use the Narendra pencil. It is a sketchy pencil. So it slightly defines the object's outline and making it seem a little bit more defined. If you think we are done, uh uh, you're wrong, guys. So, we are still not done playing with these colors, are we? The more layers we add to a sketch, the more defined, the more crisp, and more realistic and embossed any object can look. So, you keep playing with variable shades of light and dark tones of the same color and also loads of gray and black so you can define the object as much as possible it's a fun process guys trust me if you keep practicing you will improve very soon so don't give up come on guys we are almost there so keep up with me
Okay, so now I think the main part of this sketch is it feels complete and now I'm going to concentrate on the legs of this chair and I've decided to go with a different color. So let's start creating a new layer and start selecting the legs alone. After selecting in a new layer, drop a monotone color to the legs and alpha lock that layer for a clean finish and select the Copic marker, a very interesting brush and very very easy and it can, it can easily give you the results that you expect. You can see further in this sketch how realistic the legs are gonna look without using more much effort so here I'm using a combination of white light yellow and the darker versions of yellow including a dark brown color so that it gives that perfect shine a golden leg would have and Keep drawing stripes over stripes until you feel that okay so I think I've got the results that I needed. Don't forget to define the object after you're done sketching. So always choose the darkest color of that object and start to outline it. So here I'm going to use the Narinder pencil again. You can remove the alpha lock so that it won't you wouldn't feel much restricted and drag, hold, drop that is the key to get a straight line without any use of grids so this is the advantage of procreate isn't it it helps you to give you a clean and a crisp uh, drawing the legs are done let's create another layer below the object that we have created and select a dark 
contrasting color to your object color and use the flat brush pen increase the size and start shading so that the shaded part lays behind and it helps to uh, elevate the object that we have drawn even more and it drives anyone's eye straight away to the object this method can be used by interior designers product designers who are trying to present their model or concept sketches to their clients or to any company meetings etc so this is it for today's video you guys what do you think please comment down below if you need any other video tutorials like these be it architectural sketches or interior concept sketches anything that you feel like and i will come up with the tutorial for you and yeah see you guys in my next video until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress bye guys